Hello guys, how are you? Welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. So today we are going to have another top speed battle. Nope, this is the world's greatest 15 hypercars top speed battle. All of the cars are fully upgraded and tuned. It is going to be very, very interesting. So I urge you to stick around to the end of the video to see which one of them is going to pull out the fastest and which one of them actually benefits the most from fully upgrading and tuning. So we are going to start with a 2011 Bugatti Veyron Super Sport. And again, the car starts and performance is something that you should be seen on the left side of your screen so it should give you a breakdown of how all of these cars are faring when it comes to upgrading and tuning them and how they are coming overall with its specs so let's get into it and again this is our variant super sport looking all glamorous we are jumping straight into it and we are in so we're with the Bugattis, we are getting a power that is significantly higher. Uh, I believe this is coming with 1,094 kilowatts. So, you should know that this isn't no slouch. I mean, it's a lot powerful. We're already on a 6 gear, 7 gear, and the control, handling, everything is excellent. So, we just did pass 430, and we are into it again for 37. And let's keep going. Uh, I don't think we will be seeing anything further than the 437 and that's just about it for our first car this is the 2011 Bugatti Veyron Super Sport so let's jump right onto the next one okay so now we are moving on to our next car this year is our 2018 Bugatti Chiron and the car starts on this is marginally higher than the Veyron so let's see what we are going to get on this if that's going to play any role at all or not so getting straight into it remember the top speed to beat is 437 kilometers per hour all right getting straight into it and onto the sixth gear a bit from copy view this is what we are getting from the interior and boy the handling is so good I mean, Bugattis are just so good when it comes to the handling. You just cannot take anything away from it. So, yep, 420. And over here, we are already done for 30 on the, sh um, the Veyron Super Sport, sorry. And 34. So, that's just about it for the Chiron. 434 kilometers per hour. The Veyron, though. Okay, now we are moving on to our next car. This time we are getting straight into the Ferrari terrain. And this is a 2015 Ferrari F12 TDF looking all glamorous. I just love this car here with the design and everything. So the power on this is 1115 kilowatts. All right, we are getting straight into it and we are going to see what we are going to record on it. Again, remember the time to beat, sorry, the top speed to beat is 437 kilometers and we are straight into it oh boy you could definitely like easily tell the launch and acceleration on this is super super fast so if you get to know i've done a drag race with this comparing it to other hyper cars and muzzle cars boy this car is super quick really really quick and we just did 439 and i don't believe we will be seeing anything further so let me just pull up the f12 tdf is a symbol of ferrari i mean it's just too quick really 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 quick moving on to the next one okay so we are moving on to our next car here this is the 2012 hennessy venom gt and this car is uh, too good like it's the power on this is 895 kilowatts which is relatively lower compared to the other three that we've seen but do not write it off it is a lot faster and it just might surprise you okay so this is how it looks like and we are straight into it oh that was a delay shift over there but either way i really do not think it is going to have any impact in the final run and so we are straight into it on the fifth gear let's see how fast we are going to pull on this bad boy now the top speed to beat is 439 also really good with the handling i mean wow uh, these cars are really really impressive you know 35 and i don't think we will be seeing anything yet 435 kilometers per hour on our hennessy venom gt 2012 model moving on to the next one 
Okay, guys, moving on to our fifth car, we have the 2016 Koenigsegg Regira. This is our only hybrid car in the game. Sorry, in this top speed battle. So, we are getting straight into it, and this is coming with 1,118 kilowatts of power. Alright, uh, I opted to go with this because the Agira RS on, is unarguably like the fastest hyper car in the game, and that's just wouldn't make the competition any nicer so let's see what we are going to get with the regera already pulling past 390 on its single gear yeah boy it's still flying 435 36 37 i saw a 37 and yep that's just about it for the say the regera really no bad at all so now we are moving on to the next one all right guys so now we are stepping things up with the big boys the lambos this is the 2012 lamborghini aventador lp 704 this is coming with a thousand one hundred thirty kilos of power so we've got a lot of power stuck in this one here well, let's see what the first lamborghini car is going to record and boy I mean, Lambo's are notorious for its quicker acceleration and launch, and it's quite evident over here. So we are on the sixth gear. I just didn't even see when we skipped the third, the fourth, fifth, and boy, we're already on our seventh gear. And for 20, the handling is so so good. For 40, 41, and uh, I believe that's just about a 441 on the. Aventador LP, no need going any further. Oh, this car is really, really quick. I mean, this one here could arguably go down as the fastest um, Lamborghini car in the game. Who knows? Moving on to the next one. And moving on to our seventh car, we've got a green 2013 Lamborghini Venino. And going on this run, we are getting straight onto it. Uh, this is coming with a power that is marginally lower than what we recorded on the Aventador. So let's see if that is going to play any role after its final run or not. And I believe there's a bit of a lag over there. But either way, we are getting straight into it. Now, the top speed to be is 441. And not so far away, we've got the F12 TDF from Ferrari, which is really, really impressive. 439. And... I don't think we are going to see anything past the 439 and that's just about it for the Veneno which actually did incredibly good as well 439 I mean damn moving on to the next one all right fellas we are still on the fastest hypercars do not get it twisted so we've got the 2018 Lamborghini Aventador Super Veloci and the car starts on this is identical to the Veneno so well, let's see what we are gonna get on this but then the only difference is this is an Aventador and not a Veneno and I mean Veneno I'm sorry Aventadors are known to be incredibly faster all right so with this being a 2016 model let's see what we are gonna get on this SV model and so fast getting big into copy view 39 for 40 Ooh. 440 on the super veloci i mean damn another damn <laughs> i need to go any further 440 on this model knowing the car starts on this is identical to the venino i mean damn how is this even possible okay so let's move on to our next one Okay, fellas, this is our ninth car, but before we get into it, comment real quick in the comment section which one of the cars has impressed you by far and let us know what to expect in the rest coming up if you think there's any single one of them going to be the Aventador or not. Just let us know and put a timestamp onto it, yeah? Okay, so we've got the 2016 Lamborghini Centenario. Well, I didn't pronounce it in Italian but um the power of this is a thousand one hundred sixty one kilowatts that means it is the most powerful lando that i'm testing in the top speed battle all right so let's see what we are going to get on on it 
Norway, the um, Aventador LP74, is the quickest. 38, and I don't think so. 38, and that's just about it for uh, 2016. I mean, damn, look at it, look at the design and the vanilla on there is so 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 glamorous. So, yep, we've got 438 kilometers on this on this Lamborghini so moving on to the next car and moving on to our 10th car this is the 2013 McLaren P1 but before we get into it guys just take a second take a moment to drop me a like and subscribe to the channel I mean it's only gonna take a second of your time and I know you're probably enjoying this comparison yeah so do that for your boy all right so we are getting straight into it and this car here I believe you are seeing the car starts it is by far coming with the lowest kilowatts amongst the bunch so let's see what we are going to record on this beautiful looking p1 i mean you just gotta love p1s p1s are just so so good they're so nice the compact the build quality everything is just right up there and you just gotta love it you just kind of hate it plus looking at the vanilla that i slept on this i mean damn look at this all right 30 ooh. 439 this is unbelievable look at how it's going stuck over there no matter how i'm maneuvering left and right it's still stuck at 439 most of the cars that i've tested by far while going you you could definitely tell the speed will be dropping slowly and it, as much as i'll be going left and right it still will drop but this one here kept it consistent throughout 439 with 830 kilowatts of power you just gotta love the p1 boy all right so we are moving on to our 11th car uh, another mclaren and this time it is the speed tilt getting straight into it Ooh, the launch on this i've been taking this car here for a drag it will tell you how quick it is i mean it literally smokes literally literally all of the hypercars when it comes to um drag i mean damn it is a lot faster i've made a lot of videos where they comparing it to different cars just go check them out it is really really fast no it's quick all right 437 and oh the power of this is higher than that of the p1 but it didn't match the overall top speed of the p1 this is incredible now um it should give you a fair idea we only have the bugatti chiron managing 434 the rest are just in between 435 gain to 441 but the most is ranging between 437 38 39 which is really really good i mean hypercars moving on to the next one okay guys so this is our porsche our 2014 porsche spider the only Porsche in this battle, we are getting straight into it, and... Ooh. 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 I'm like this because the handling is so good. Boy, I, I, I for once thought I, I lost it over there, but damn. It handled itself so good, really, really good. Alright. Ooh, I'm sold. I'm sold, guys. Okay, for 30, a bit of cockpit view, 33, 34, and look at the interior on, on this car here. Okay, okay. We just recorded the top speed of the Chiron as well with the 2014 Porsche 918 Spider. And this is our 2019 Vermac Concept 2 or the Vermac Nevera. Um, this car here, this hypercar here, is unarguably the most powerful hypercar in the game. It's coming with 1,407 kilowatts of power. That is way too much. I mean, we're talking about muzzle cars here. All right, so we are straight into it. And this makes it our 13th car going on the top speed and all right a full electric car on it i mean it's so quick 400 and what 18 i believe i saw 418 and let me try again real quick 
Yep. 418. No need going any further. Little is needed to be said about this car here. I mean, it just, it just, it just, it's so crazy. Moving on to our 14th. Okay, and this is our 2016 W Motors Lycan Hypersport. To us, it, it was hugely popular after the Fast and Furious movie, I believe the part 6 or part 7. Alright, so we are getting 888 kilowatts of power on this beast. I mean, a bit from copy view, look how it looks. It's so, so, so crazy. I mean, look at the dashboard alone, you gotta tell you, it's not just a regular hypercar. Okay, 421, yeah, let's keep going. Come on, do pass 430. And I just needed to make sure I was going more further. 431 on our W Motors Lycan Hypersport. And I believe you are actually seeing the the, 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 the performance after upgrading and tuning on the Lissaia screens. So it will tell you if the road is more further, like more straight further. It will, it will it was going to get a lot out of it. But either way, we recorded 431. That's just about it. Moving on to the next one. So this is our final car, our final hypercar. This is the 2019 Zenvo TSRS. <laughs> With its crazy looking wing that moves according to how the car maneuvers and it's so so crazy. Um, Alright, so we are getting straight into it. Uh, let's see the time that we are going to record on this as well. Knowing all of the cars have done past 430. Oh, ooh, we still haven't hit 400 as yet. Zenvo, come on. Okay, I'm feeling real bad right now. 400 and damn. I mean, what a way to end the entire battle, like the comparison between all these hypercars. This, this just might be a bad idea. I mean, we've got the uh, Ferrari, the Ferrari, which also actually does 419, but it's a lot better than the 407 that we recorded on this. But hey, you know, it is what it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I am Sal. This is the 15 greatest hypercar speed battle that you can get on the platform on so yeah if you enjoyed the video again do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel and in return it is going to help me a lot and i'm going to be so so appreciated i mean it actually took a longer time making this video possible so just take a moment out of your time your precious time to like and subscribe yet yeah, so until then every single one of you should stay safe i'm sal as always and i will catch you again in this video peace